stampers this is Tina Zink independent Stampin' Up demonstrator in Nova Scotia Canada and in some of my previous videos and blog posts I shared how you can create 12 cards um, from one piece of designer series paper that when cut creates all these different bases so you just glue them on to your your cards once you've cut them all up and you can find the template on my Serene Stamper blog and using that same template I've created all kinds of cards and I've been featuring them on my blog so one of the cards that I wanted to do a video of is this one here and the main reason is this bow I wanted to show you how to make this bow but this is such a pretty card I thought I would just do the whole card not just the bow so this is the same layout as this one here except I have daffodil delight as my card base and then my old olive and then my um, three and a quarter by three and a quarter piece of designer series paper this is from delightful daisy and so is this piece here it's just it's a different pattern so I've already got my card base together I'm going to go ahead and stamp this bit here okay so this piece of whisper white measures two and three quarters by two and three quarters and the stamp set is the flying home so I am going to use a different image instead of this one I'm going to use this image right here it's such a beautiful stamp set okay I'm inking this image up with my black memento ink because I'm going to be coloring it with my stamp and blends and this is the best ink to use for that Isn't that sweet okay so to start coloring I'm using my light crumb cake and I'm just going over the entire nest and I'm also going to do the branch then I'm taking my dark crumb cake and I'm just gonna add some to the nest here And also on the branch and some more light crumb cake going to go over that the blends make coloring so quick and easy and now I'm just taking the color lifter and I'm just blending all of that together I have yellow birds so I'm taking my light daffodil delight going over the birds my dark daffodil delight and my light daffodil delight I'm taking my dark smoky slate for this part of the wing I'm using the bronze for the beaks and now the light old olive for the leaves you can see how quick this comes together and now some dark old olive And some light old olive to blend that together there's my image quick quick so I'm gonna take my snail and I'm mounting this on a piece of daffodil delight cardstock so the sentiment I'm using on this card is from the lift me up stamp set and it's the you soar above the rest congratulations I'm just gonna stamp this up with my black oh lordy look it's crooked that's because it's crooked on my um, on my stamp okay no worries I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix that 
I'm going to take a piece of Scrap Whisper White. I'm taking my Stampin' Majig, which you can tell I haven't cleaned. <laughs> but this is what we're going to do. I'm going to stamp that so that it's straight on my Whisper White piece. Okay. And I'm just going to trim this. Okay, so I've stamped it, I've trimmed it out, and I've mounted it on a piece of old olive. So, this is how I'm fixing that mistake. That's going to go right there. Fixed. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this onto my card. Okay, I wanted to add some flowers for some pops of colors. So here's my flowers. I stamped this image here onto Whisper White, and then I just cut them out with my petals and more thinlet dies. So I'm going to go ahead and add those to the card. I'm going to put a glue dot on this one. So I've got a glue dot on this one. Put that one there. And here I've got a Stampin' Dimensional, so I'm going to just raise that one right on top. And then I cut out one of the little birds from the flying home and put another dimensional behind that one. It's gonna go there. Okay, and I'm gonna put a rhinestone in each one of those flowers. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make the bow. So to make the bow, I'm taking my linen thread and I'm just going to wrap it around my two fingers about three times. Then I'm adding my third finger and I'm going to wrap it around three times that way too. And then slide them off. Trim that in. So when you turn it, you can see I've got two different size of uh, circles. So then I just push it down in the center, just like that, and then I'm just going to twist it a couple times, and then I'm taking another piece of twine, wrapping it around the center a couple times, and then I'm going to tie a knot. And then all you do is you just open up those sides. And get a really pretty bow. I'm going to add that with a glue dot. There's my bow, and I want to add some dazzling diamonds because I love my dazzling diamonds. So you could use your fine tip glue pen, but I'm just using my liquid glue because it's what I have out. Shake on some dazzling diamonds. Dazzling diamonds have and always will make me extremely happy. I love them and they just jazz up a card. Look at that. So there's my finished card. I love making these bows and I will show you the other one I made. So same stamp set, same designer series paper, same uh, template that designer series paper 
one sheet wonder template that I have my, on my blog and on here I embossed in white the sentiment and of course here I was just going to stamp it in black but it got mad at because <laughs> it stamped crooked but I love how they both turned out so I hope you enjoyed this video this is a great stamp set if you don't already have it and definitely get some linen thread because these bows are just so pretty thank you for watching I appreciate you happy stamping